Hello everyone, it's Bren with Addicted to Cricut. Today I'm doing a tutorial about how to get rid of the background on an imported image. And it's really simple. If you haven't figured this out yet, you are going to be so excited. Um, many times I will create um, my images that I want to make for signs and things in uh, PicMonkey because I don't know I just like it and so here's one that I've created in PicMonkey um, but it has a white background so how do I get rid of it I'm gonna show you first come over here to your design space in Cricut we're gonna to go to upload right here upload image browse so we can find it and I know I've got it saved in here under a laundry room sign so I'm going to open that. I'm going to, I have three options here, but I'm going to save it as complex. Continue. Um, you can zoom out here so we can see the whole thing. So basically, all you have to do is when you're in this, as you can see, it says select and erase. Uh, that little cross comes up here, as you can see. Click once, and the background's gone. Woohoo! Amazing, right? But now we have to get uh, some things that are a little bit harder. So let's go ahead and zoom in so we can make sure and get those. We have to get that center cross right on it. Otherwise, we will erase something that we don't want to erase. And someone told me that if I come up here to this undo, that it, it will undo it. But I haven't got it to do that for me yet. I haven't figured out how to successfully do that because I've done some pretty elaborate, intricate ones, and um, yeah, I've messed up the whole thing, which really didn't make for a very happy person. Okay, I think that's it. Now the best way to make sure that everything's out is to come down here to preview, and all of my letters seem to be correct. Looking at each one of them, making sure all that my E's and things are out. Everything looks good. So now all I have to do is continue. It's already named laundry room sign. I save it as a print and then cut only because if I decide to come back and do that later, it's already set up for that. So let's press save. It's gonna put it in our saved files. And here it is right here. So we're gonna click on that and click insert images. And as you can see, there it is. Now it's ready to be cut. Whoops, <laughs> I don't know what happened there. It's ready to be cut. Just remember to come up here and change this red line to cut. Now it really is ready to cut. Um, when I cut this, I actually did the letters first and then the birds and the um, clothes later because I wanted to make it larger. But that's a whole nother video. So anyway, that's how you get rid of the background. This is ready to be cut. If you would like this file that I made, I'm going to put it on my post so that you can find it there. Um, have a great day. Happy crafting.